Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, this is a monster spotlight I decided to do for my clanmate and my buddy, um, One Eye Patch, because he he recently um, started a YouTube channel and actually made a video spotlighting his water Mona. I decided to do it on my channel to show off his water Mona to see what it can do, and I thought this was really, really interesting, um, because you can actually actually do this. You might not be able to do it the same way he did, because he his water Mona is actually triple triple triangle, um, on on triple attack, like a six star, six star, and a five star attack. But um, what I'm, what I what like this 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 uh, secret tip that I can I want to tell you guys is, um, you know how if you have a B8 farming team, most of your units are actually water, and you can actually go into dragons and in dragons B4, um, the units in dragons B4 are also also fire. So if you're using a water team to fight against the fire B8, uh, you will actually be able to take that same team and bring it into B4 to help you get a few siphon gems to help you speed up your runs. Because once you put together a siphon set for um, your water nuker, just any any water nuker with a morale boost, you're going to have very, very fast farm times. So I'm going to show you guys, um, this, just kind of show off this water Mona. Uh, she is currently level 60 as you saw before she currently has a uh, 8.5 K attack and with the leader skill of a 30% um, It should actually boost her attack up a little bit more I'm not gonna do math because my math is horrible now I'm, a, I'm not gonna use any other nuker monsters because I don't really think it's it's necessary until we actually get to the boss um, Obviously the more morale boosters you have the more likely it is for you to have your bar full when you're at the boss So since it is fire I'm gonna just throw in some two random nukers these guys aren't aren't on siphon So meaning that they probably won't get their bars full but the Mona should be able to, um, you know, boost her bar every single turn and just nuke down the golem really, really fast. I'm also going to put in some random, um, I'll put in a random wood monster to make sure the um, that she never ever gets hit. So if I put in a, a wood monster, the um, the fire golem will fo focus my wood monster, meaning that the the Mona will never ever get hit. Meaning this will probably be able to show off um, her maximum speed depending on who who they attack. Um, in the last turn, I could also just click and focus the boss so you guys can see what it's like um, if if everything does go perfectly. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna do one run, and we're gonna just do this really really fast. Um, you guys might know one eye patch from from the Gemini review that I did a long time ago. He's just been a he's just been a buddy. <laughs> Buddy, that's help, helping me uh, make a lot of really, really good content because he uh, he always lends me these monsters to use, and I, I thought uh, I thought it'd be a really, really nice um, nice to just uh, shout him out a little bit, and and uh, so you guys can also check him out because um, he re recently just uh, started doing YouTube. He's not too experienced, but I think uh, he has he definitely has a lot of potential. Now, this Water Mona didn't actually have enough attack to make her bar full right on the first turn. So you will probably have to rely a little bit on blue soul generation. Um, or you, if you have another um, bar boosting monster, like a team bar boosting monster, like a fire cura, a light succubus, or the dark spark it, who is going to be on rebirth festival very, very soon. If you have one of those monsters, I'm going to click the boss to, to kind of show, uh, you know, what, what it would be like if they actually decide to focus the boss and target the boss. Um, and the type type of runs you can get. Now she used three attacks on the first turn, meaning this probably won't be that fast of a run. But it it is one minute, um, which is actually really really good. You can obviously do one minute without siphon gems because it takes three attacks. But um, you know, like this is probably uh, if you if they all don't target the boss, maybe it'll add another. You know, they have to do another one attack, which might add five to ten seconds onto the run. Um, but I think one minute is definitely really really nice if you it and this probably isn't even the average I think the average should be about about 55 seconds or so because she would most likely be using um, You know two attacks to clear the first wave So yeah, that that is a pretty short um, spotlight video, but I I thought it I thought it would be really really nice to to make this video um, just kind of show off a water Mona on siphon set and it's not too bad it's not it's not ideal because obviously she doesn't um, she she's not able to get her bar full like guaranteed on the first turn but you can actually use a few things to make up for that to basically um, you know 
put in some bar boosters to make sure their their bars are full. I can do this um, run, just kind of a bonus run to kind of show what I'm talking about. Um, I can't. Um, obviously, I can't use his water mona anymore because his water mona is um, is a friend monster. I can only a friend's rep. I can only use it, use it one a day. Uh, I can only use one a day. But what I can do is I can show another monster. Um, for example, my light my light Nike. Now she has no bar bar boost on her first skill, but she does also have a siphon set. And um, if you if you like she's also an aggressor so meaning that these defense siphon gems is going to help her do a lot of damage and so if i put her as leader uh the reason why i'm putting her as leader is to make also make it so her um her her um, attack power lead gives another monster that also has siphon a little bit of a boost as well this is my dark indra um he, he's also on a siphon triple attack as well and i mainly use him to farm um he's not i think he's not really ideal not until i really evil three him but i think he's definitely pretty nice he's currently evil two plus one and so he, he definitely has pretty high base attack and i'm going to put in two monsters that can do some sort of bar boost uh i'm gonna put in my light succubus I'm going to put in my Dark Cura. So with these two monsters on the team, um, they can actually boost up their bars by by 10% each, meaning that th both of them together is going to make sure they have a, like, like a morale boost of 20% every single turn. Now, um, you might not necessarily have these monsters, but there's actually a monster coming out very, very soon that has a skill like this, and that is the Dark Spark It, and he's going to be on Rebirth Festival. Um, and you can use this, you can kind of do this, um, to, to help you get your blue souls more easily. As you can see, the 20% plus the blue soul going into the Dark Indra helped him get his bar full, and then his siphon started doing work and uh, making sure that he, he basically now will always have his bar full because the siphon just is, is OP. So as you can see, um, if you put in some monsters that have some sort of like team bar boosting, it will be really really nice. Like I think even I think the Spark It um, Rebirth is definitely worth doing because the the team bar boost is is really really nice to to have for your team. Um, at the time of recording, the Rebirth Festival should be in three days. It should be on the fifteenth, and the the Spark It should be coming out. Uh, I was thinking that even if you get an Evil One Dark Spark It and don't make it Evil Three, if you put that thing on your team and just make it tanky at least enough to survive. Actually, it doesn't even need to survive, but it's still ideal that it survives so it can do more hits and generate more gold. Uh, you can look at yesterday's video to where I talk about that as well. Um, but you basically you want it to survive so it can just keep hitting. Uh, doesn't really need to do any damage. But as long as it's there, um, you know, hitting, and even if it's evil one, it will still be boosting your bar every single turn. Meaning that you're you're going to basically be more likely to have your bar full on the second turn on whatever unit that you have a siphon set on. Um, even if you don't have siphon sets, if you're just using moral boost nukers, you're still more likely to get your bar full on the second turn. So yeah, that's just a little little bonus tip um, I, I also wanted to give you guys. Obviously not everyone's at the point where they have access to these monsters. Um, but yeah, if you if you have some water units lying around, definitely throw them into BA. And if you have like a triple square water mona, then you're in luck because BA only... Um, well, not BA, um, B4 dragons. Um, B4 dragons only drop square, same as B8. So, you know, triple square master race. You basically want to have as many squares as possible on, in the early game to help you um, gen your monsters easier because, you know, all the, all the dungeons that are easy only drop square slots for some weird reason. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and be sure to be sure to check out um, One Eye Patch. His YouTube name is The Dirty Gamer. I will have his channel link below um, in the description. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.